dear students i hope you all will be fine here i am mohammad tajamal khan lecturer in botany university of education lahore today we have a lecture number 11 in this lecture we discuss one of the major core subject of botany that is plant systematic anatomy and development and the course code of this subject is bot and 112 so in this lecture we discuss a family that is rosaceae so here we have the content of this lecture in which we discuss uh, related to the introduction general account general introduction of this family then we have the distribution of this family after that we reveal the vegetative and floral characteristics of family along with the floral formula and diagram in the end we discuss economic importance of this family uh, in general account we say the family rosaceae is of exceptional interest uh, from the phylogenetic point of view and is considered to be the most primitive woody group in dicotyledon uh, almost it belongs to uh, near about uh, 90 genera and uh, 2500 species which is uh, mostly spread in temperate region uh, it includes uh, various form of plants like herbs shrubs and trees and most uh, herbaceous members show a clear relationship to their woody ancestors one can uh, say that it is widely distributed in all parts of the world uh, but most abundant in temperate region Uh, as you know they are the deciduous evergreen uh, thorny and the birds usually with several exposed scales this family is a primary contains number of plants or species that are of economic importance as food crop and for other purposes like in cosmetics like almonds cherries pears raspberries strawberries all these are the major and important example of this family so as concerned with their distribution they are widely distributed in the world mostly in temperate and cold region so we can say that it is cosmopolitan found all over the world so when we discuss about their vegetative character uh, the first uh, attribute is plant habit uh, most of the species are the perennial green uh, green woody plant with distinct upright uh, stem of 6 feet so they referred as trees so mostly species belong to the sea are trees some are uh, shrubs so the, uh, that are woody green plants whose main stem cannot be distinguished from its branches and few uh, and rarely some plants are herbs that are annual green small sized plant the next vegetative character is root basically uh, rosaceae family exhibit tap root and it might be it might be a fibrous or branched so tap root is a root that is directly arised from the seed and fibrous tap root that is the long and slender tap root with slender branches so the next vegetative 
collector of this uh, Rosizi family is Stam. Stam is mostly erect, straight, in some cases it may be in creeping. Most of the texture of the stem is woody and in some cases it is herbaceous. It also possess, stem also possess a pointed scales or spine. Stem possesses nodes and internodes. So the leaf of uh, rosaceae family may be simple or in some cases it may be compound. As you know, a leaf in which lamina is divided into number of separate leaves like parts called leaflets is called referred as or called as compound leaf. And in, in simple, we have a single lamina only. In addition to this, the arrangement of uh, leaf in rosaceae family is alternate, uh, is opposite or alternate, maybe. As you observe in this, uh, these are the arrangement of leaf in alternate pattern. It, uh, the leaf of a rosaceae family also possess uh, petiole, so due to which it is called, it is referred as petiole leaf. And as you know, a petiole is a stalk-like structure that raises the lamina towards sunlight. At the base of leaf, a specific structure, a pair of outgrowths develop at the base of the petiole of a leaf that is called as stipule as indicated here in these slides. These are the step stipules. So if leaf bearing these stipules, we call it as stipulate. The inflorescence of rosaceae family uh, may be racemose in which the main axis develops lateral flowers and continue to grow indefinitely up to the last flower. It also possess cymose inflorescence in some cases in which the main axis soons and in a flower. After that, it gives one or two lateral branches or daughter axes, each of which ends in a flower. And this process repeated several times. And few of the members of this family also possess inflorescence that are in solitary in nature. In this, a solitary flower like rose is present. And this solitary flower have large corolla to attract insects. These uh, solitary flower may be of two forms. One is terminal flower, the other one is axillary flower. When we talk about the terminal flower, uh, in this case, the flower born at the apex of the main stem or its branches. While in axillary, in this case, the flower born in the axil of the foliage leaf. Now here we have the floral uh, characteristics of the rosaceae family. First of all, the flower of this family uh, possesses both calyx and corolla, so we call it as complete flower. Uh, after this, uh, the symmetry of the flower in rosaceae family is uh, actinomorphic or regular. It means uh, flower can be cut into two equal halves by more than one plane. Both male and female reproductive organ is present in the same flower that is referred as hermaphrodite. The flower of the rosaceae family also possess uh, a bracts. So due to the presence of bract, we called uh, the flower of such family is called bracteate. Ori uh, may be superior or inferior, superior in the case of hypogynous and perigynous and inferior in the case of epigynous. As for, as concerned with the first world of 
species of the flower of this family. It possesses five sepals. And these sepals are gamosepalous. It's, it means all sepals are united. So by the union of these sepals, it forms a tube-like structure, a tubular structure that surrounds the gynoecium. As far as concerned with the estivation or the arrangement of sepals and petals with respect to one another, it possesses valvate estivation, in which the sepals and the petals merely touch each other at their edges. The second word of flower is chlora, corolla that contains petals. So in the Jesse family, the number of petals is five or multiple of five. When we refer the case to multiple of five, it means it possess numerous petals. All these petals in Rosaceae family is polypetalous. It means the petals are free from one and other. In this family, all the petals have very distinguished colors. And these distinguished colors actually for the attraction of different insects that help in pollination. Now, here we have the third world of flower that is androsium. And androsium referred to as stamens. As you know, stamens consist of two parts. One is anther, the other one is filament. In androsium of the rosaceae family, its number is five or multiple of five. So when we talk about multiple of five, it means it's exhibit numerous stamens. All these stamens are polyandrous. It means the stamens are free from each other. And these stamens may be di, tetra or pentaandrous. Filaments are of unequal size in Rosaceae family. The anther are two lobe structure or diothecious and present towards the anterior end. And the filament is attached to the back of anther due to which anther is immovable. So now here we have the fourth world of uh, rosaceae flower that is gynoecium. Uh, in this uh, uh, flower, it exhibits uh, one to many ovaries. So we can say that these are monocarpillary to polycarpillary. All these uh, ovaries actually in gynoecium consist of uh, more than one fused carpel. So these fused carpal form compound ovary as you observe in these diagram. So in some cases only ovaries are united but stigma are free like uh, cotton. So in some cases ovary and styles are united and in some cases ovary, style and stigma all are united. So the fusion of these ovaries, multiple ovaries, we use a term that is syncarpus. So the flower of Rosaceae family exhibit 
ovary in syncarpus format. So in addition to this, the Ganoschium of Rosaceae family is bi to multilocular in nature. So it possess two to many chambers in ovary and each chamber possesses ovule. So Rosaceae family is a multilocular structure. As far as concerned with the placentation in Rosaceae family, it possesses two types of placentation. One is exile, the other one is basal. So in exile, the gyanosium is polycarpillary and syncarpus and the fused margin of the carpal grow inward in the center of the ovary. So the compound ovary becomes multilocular and the marginal placenta of all the carpal fuses in the center to form a central axis. And ovules are attached on this central axis. In case of basal, the ovary is unilocular and it has a single ovule attached to the base of the ovary. So in this Rosaceae family, we have two types of placentation. One is exile and the other one is basal. So see here, this indicates the exile placentation and this one indicates the basal placentation. This family immediately contains three forms of fruit and one is pom. in this the fruit in which outer skin and edible portion of the fruit are formed from thalamus and the carpal develops central cartilaginous core. The second one is drupe. In this case, the succulent fruit in which mesocarp forms form the edible portion of fruit and endocarps form a hard shell or stone. In the last we have akins or follicles. In this case the fruit in which the pericarp is membranous or leathery and free from seed coat or testa. Seeds of rosaceae family are ex albumus with small embryo. It means these seeds that uh, stored food and cotyledon in a special structure called kernel. It does not remain until the embryo is mature. So here we have uh, some of the important uh, plants uh, and their uh, fruits that we use <clears throat> in our daily life uh, that are very delicious. These are the Prunus perisica, Aru, in our uh, local language you can say it, Aru. Then we have the <coughs> Prunus domestic, uh, domestica, Alucha, Alucha, then we have Prunus amygdalus, then uh, Batam, then we have Prunus americana, Kubani, then we have Purus cuminus, Apple, or Apple, then we have the Rosa indica, that is Gulab, uh, then we have Rubus uh, fruticosus, Blackberry, and then we have the Fragaria, that is uh, Strawberry. So these are the important fruit that is produced by the Rosaceae family. So here we have the floral diagram and floral formula of Rosaceae family. So here first of all this indicates the main axis, mother axis. Then we have the sepals, the, the number of sepals are 5. Then we have the petals, these indicates the black -like color, uh, indicates the petals, these are 5 or multiple of 5. Then we have the Androsiums, androsium is also uh, in uh, numerous numbers, and then we have the gynoecium uh, with uh, bicarpillary to multicarpillary and multilocular structure that indicated by these uh, points. So here we have the uh, gynoeciums. Then this one, this one is related to uh, androsium, and then this related to uh, gyno. Uh, Corolla 
and in the end we have a Kylax. Similarly here, this is the main axis again. This, okay, one other thing uh, here, in a, a, we have the addition of this. This indicates the bracts. So if the bract is present, then we indicate by this symbol. And these signs, these two signs, these, this one and this one, these are bract, uh, bracteolates. So these are indicated by these signs along the lateral side of the <coughs> floral uh, diagram. So after this, here we have the floral formula. This indicates bracts is present, bracteate. This indicates the bracteolates. Then the symmetry that is indicated by this sign that is actinomorphic. Then it's a Hermaphrodite, both male and female reproductive organ present in the same flower. After this, we have the apicalyx. The number of apicalyx is five. Apicalyx basically uh, is form, form uh, an additional whorl around the around the calyx of a single flower. And uh, actually, this is the modification of uh, bracteoles in other words. So the apicalyx is a group of bracts resembling a uh, calyx or bracteal forming a whorl outer to the calyx and uh, so we can say that it is a calyx like structure uh, I'll, uh, structure or whorl of floral appendages so here <coughs> it's indicate the apicalyx that is indicated by the number that is five then we have the calyx which number is five then we have the corolla which number is five or it's maybe multiple of five then we have the androsium numerous that is indicated by this sign and then we have the gynosium which is also numerous and the ovary is superior that is indicated by this sign <coughs> so here we have uh, some of the uh, economic importance of this family uh, first of all we have we reveal the source of medicine <clears throat> uh, the petals of some common roses are called uh, gulabs uh, in many Asian countries like in our country in Pakistan so gulab have the following uses these petals are used for making uh, gulkan and then uh, petal of roses are used for the extraction of rose oil and this oil is used in perfumes and then we have uh, our petals give arke gulab on distillation with water and this arke gulab is used for curing eye disease and for many other uh, purposes <clears throat> in addition to this uh, we use a seed of uh, pinus amygdalus uh, that we commonly call as badam uh, that is used as tonic some of its members also used as uh, food uh, for example here we have uh, uh, pyrus chiminus that is uh, apple then we have a peach batan or almond apricot strawberry fragaria these all are the important uh, plants uh, that we use uh, their fruit uh, for as a food it also used uh, in uh, industry as uh, the bark of quileja Ponaria is used in preparing shampoos. In addition to this, uh, some of the members of this uh, family is used as um, ornamental plants like uh, Rosa indica and Rosa damascena are grown as ornamental plants in garden. So they are uh, grown in garden for their uh, beautiful and scented flowers. Uh, as you know the genus rosa is widely cultivated uh, for decorative uh, purpose uh, so it has been growing since ancient times so its cultivated names are in thousands so many other genera are also grown in the garden and park for beautiful flower uh, in addition to this the view of uh, some of the members of this family 
uh, is uh, very useful as uh, uh, the plant that is a uh, crataegus uh, and the wood of crataegus are used as uh, walking sticks similarly the wood of papyrus pastia uh, is used for making uh, tobacco pipes so here we have the overall summary uh, for the diagnostic characteristics of this rosaceae family uh, here we have the erect stem that uh, possess prickles or spines then we have the sapples and petals that are free uh, then we have the stipules present at the base of the petiole of the leaf then we have the stamens filaments that are free then we have the pipe and uh, hypanthium and we have the apicalyx so these are the feature the diagnostic features of this family so in the end we have the references that we use in the preparation of this lecture